Hello everyone this is Samrat Datta I am one of the connector product managers from integration service team and today we are going to take a look at another fun use case that involves an automation in between Shopify Google Maps Azure Maps Gen AI and Jira Let's talk about the use case real quick Basically what I'm trying to achieve here is when a new order is placed in shopify or is received in shopify we want to invoke google maps activity to retrieve the plus code and latitude longitude of the shipping address next we are going to azure maps weather forecast activity and fetch the weather forecast for the next 5 days next we are going to combine all this and invoke gen ai chat completion to suggest considerations for a delivery to happen when i say considerations i mean if there is going to be an impact on the delivery promised delivery date based on the rainfall or snowfall or uh, perhaps probability of a storm for the shipping address and finally uh, which is my intent Uh, it is actually to create a jira task for my delivery team with the relevant details that i have fetched in the previous steps with that i would like to quickly create an order in shopify in authorized and unfulfilled state i am currently in the admin panel of shopify so it is going to be really easy for me to place an order let's select an item okay so i have this product that i want to order for a particular customer let's say this is the customer and all i have to do is click on collect payment and enter the credit card so that i can authorize the payment and for that i would put some dummy credit card details here CVV can be anything. Name on card, charge. Now let's go to our workflow, and this is exact replica of what we have here. But <clears throat> let's actually try to figure out what we are doing here. <clears throat> Basically, this is the uh, Shopify event trigger we have. authorized and unfulfilled order received there are no filters for this use case but you can really go and configure your filters next we are invoking the get geo code from address activity and we are inputting the shopify shipping address in the address property as you can see we have a couple of output parameters here and within that we also have the plus code and the latitude longitude so it should be relatively easier for us to decipher the lat long which is what we are using in the next activity that is get daily weather forecast one thing to note is that the duration of the forecast is really configurable so you can really select one day five day 10 days so on and so forth now for each of the forecasts that azure maps responds back with we are invoking general chat completion activity for open ai and basically what we are trying to do is get the rain probability snowfall probability and storm probability with the location that we have uh <clears throat> in shopify order we are combining these five results and then asking open ai to kind of suggest the delivery dates which might impact the customer uh, promise date of delivery right so let's say my promises within the next 5 days i'm going to deliver and if i'm not able to do that then that's not a good customer experience to be honest so that's what we are trying to do suggesting you know getting suggestions from open ai and then this is a this is really an optional step not really required but basically what we are doing is adding a row in this uh, spreadsheet and quick access for everyone what is the forecast here right also if you see we have the shopify order id address the geo plus code so on and so forth 
but what's imperative is creating this jira issue and uh, for that i have my uh, summary input as the delivery uh, i mean shopify order number and then the description is an amalgamation of certain stuffs that i received from shopify and genai with that i have this order created all i'm going to do as an admin is run this workflow uh, my project has started building and it will kick off any time now it shows running in the trigger step trying to get geo code from google maps got the weather forecast and this is where we are invoking gen ai activities and then it's suggesting the days for delivery i have a new row added let's see there you go 4458 if i'm not wrong yes 4458 and we have the details in the spreadsheet like address geo plus code forecast summary uh but what we want to see is how the jira ticket was created for my delivery and shipment team so i have copied the issue key let's paste it and take a quick look at what is here so we can see deliver order this is my jira ticket summary and it has a description attached if you take a look we have the google plus code basically imagine someone from the delivery team just copying this google plus code going into google and literally literally pasting this here right the plus code and there you go you got the delivery location uh what's more interesting is if you look into the ticket in jira you have the delivery consideration so based on the data provided with the data provided uh, the days you need to be cautious about when scheduling your delivery is as follows april 17th and april 20th why because there is a 25% chance of rain during the day so delivery would definitely be a little difficult if i'm not wrong Uh, and also on april 20th there is a high chance of rain so this actually gives a good overview to my shipment and uh, logistics team to kind of plan the delivery for this order right uh, and that is the intent basically uh, i guess that's all i wanted to demonstrate uh, today um, i hope you liked it